I'm here in Ferguson, and it's it's just a scene of, of chaos and frenzy. Uh, there are uh, police officers and um, ambulance officers uh, responding to uh, various um, emergency scenes. I've uh, just witnessed um, as someone who was badly injured um, be put into a uh, ambulance, and uh, it just doesn't feel safe. I've heard um, several shots ring out. Um, apparently, there's a, a fire next to the McDonald's that I just drove past. Um, most of the businesses here are boarded up. Um, helicopters are sort of making slow uh, swooping passes. It just does not feel safe, and it feels like the situation is getting out of control. Cars are lurking, sort of, they'll just pull out and the lights will come on and they'll sort of speed away, and you just get the sense that it's just, it's just not good, if you know what I mean. It's, um, it's not a good feeling. Everyone's on edge. There's a smell of burning um, that I've had um, in different spots as I've driven into Ferguson. Looking north, I can actually see something is set alight in the direction of the um, Ferguson Police Department. A lot of businesses that you would think would be open have closed down, like um, the petrol station I try to get into. That's, that's all got its lights on, but it's shut up. Um, a lot of other businesses have literally just boarded, boarded themselves up. Um, so they, they expected this response. People were expecting, um, you know, a violent response to, to the, the ruling, and everyone expected the ruling in the end.